Dallas Pope interviews, take two. What's your name? My name is Sir, ma'am, Hillary E. Younger Powell the first. And why are you here today? I am here today to interview for the position of Pope. Okay, so one of the requirements was that you uh, come adorned as the Pope would be adorned for a Sunday Mass. Yes. What are you wearing? Uh, well, to start, maybe you want to like, do you want to start with my shoes, maybe? You tell me. They're, well, my shoes are very important. I have on a traditional gold shoe, like one that the Pope would wear, with the exception that mine has a heel. Um, a couple of things that are I... Those jeans? Um, yes, these are jeans. Is that a problem? I thought that, you know, the way I would dress for, like, mass on Sunday, because sometimes we have, like, casual Sundays, I would wear jeans. And, you know, it's warm outside in the summertime, so I think a more relaxed look. I have on a um, cotton poke top with gold um, leather gloves or handshaking because, you know, a lot of times people are sick and I have to shake a lot of hands or hold a lot of babies and I don't want to get the germs on me. Um, I have on a gold belt with a medallion and a diamond channeled um, vest um, that I think the Pope wear. Oh, and not to mention my traditional like Pope hat with the point on the top, but it's embellished with sequins because I think, you know, the Pope should be properly adorned at all times. I see. Okay, so uh, moving on, what qualifies you to be the Pope? Um, well, there are a lot of things that qualify me to be the Pope. Um, I studied, um, the Popes from decades, you know, for, for decades I've studied, you know, everything that the Pope has done. Um, and I think that that's one thing that really gives me an edge and an advantage over a lot of the other, like, third world country people that are applying for this job. Third world? What have you studied? Um, well, like, like, for instance, I studied Pope John Paul, Pope... Um, Paul John, Peter Piper, um, Piter, um... Ma'am, ma these aren't real popes. Oh, these are real popes. I, I've studied all of them. I know everything about them. What do you mean? Who is Peter Piper? I mean, like, I, maybe his name was, I maybe his last name was a Piter, Piper, but I think, I know his name was Peter, though. Pope Peter. I remember him. Okay, so a large part of the Pope's job is to pray for people. Mm -hmm. What type of prayers would you prescribe for your uh, parishioners? Um, well, I mean, the Lord's Prayer is just the standard, like, that you, you know, that everyone should know. Everyone should go out and, like, pray, like, the Lord's Prayer for all of the people because it's just like a blanket prayer that just works. It just works. Um, it okay. just works? Yeah. Like, I've, I've always used it, you know, whenever... I needed, like, a quick, you know, um, prayer to kind of, like, throw out there and get the party. Throw out going. where? I mean, to the people. To the people. To the masses. To people. Um, other things I would do, like, I mean, I like to sing. So, I probably, like, would sing, like, church songs um, or, like, hymns um, as opposed to just kind of, like, always praying all the time. Like, always, you know, praying and Doing like you know hand gestures and stuff. I would probably sing. Wait, wait, hand gestures and stuff, ma'am. Have you been to a Catholic church service before? Um, yeah, I was. I went to a Catholic school before. Do you know the Hail Mary prayer? Um, yes, I do. I I kind of like forgot some of it, so I wrote it down in my hand just in case you asked me. But I have on these gloves, so I can't really like see it without taking the gloves off and they're kind of like hard to get back on so um but i do know it um and i will have it like memorized when i become by the time i become pope do you know it now um no i thought i just explained that but no um hail mary hail mary full of grace take the purse off her arm take a gucci bag and a north face off her back, smack her if she ate, funny with the money. You got me mistaken, honey. Ma'am, that, that is a Biggie Small song. That is not the Hail Mary prayer. How is that going to benefit anybody? I'm sorry, sir. I'm, like, extremely nervous. And 
Like, I feel like you're being angry. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure. Well, I feel like you came unprepared to the Pope interview. Maybe it's a Hail Mary that you didn't learn. I don't know. Like, it's one that I know. I'm sure a lot of other people know it. So, I apologize if you're not familiar with that one, but that's one that I do know. So, um, I'm sorry. Okay, so what else qualifies you to be the Pope? I mean, I mean, there are tons of things that qualify me to be the Pope. Um, you know, like, name be specific, sir. Like, you know, you've asked me this question a couple of times. Okay, how would you help people? Um, well, I feel like, you know, I would help people in a lot of ways. Like, a lot of times when people come to the Vatican, you know, they might need help with, like, their look or something, or their hair cut might be off. Like, I think that the old popes never, like, offered, like, that type of advice. Or maybe some people don't have, like, Facebook pages or email addresses. I could help people, like, get those things so they can, like, catch up to, like, modern technology. I mean, clean running water, like, most people have that. You know, like, all this other stuff that the Pope has been praying for, I kind of think is, like, outdated. I think he needs to, like, catch people up with the time. Who told you the Pope was praying for clean running water for people? Um, I kind of think that those were some of his old initiatives, was to, like, peace and, I don't know, like, Did you just call stuff. peace an old initiative? Are you saying that peace is no, no longer No, no, no. I still would, like, I think I still would have peace on my agenda as an initiative, but I don't think it would be, like, you know, was one that I'm, like, working on every single day. Like, I think I would kind of, like, start with something a little bit more atomical, like, in smaller pieces, and then work my way up to peace. Peace is a really big agenda to like start with in the first couple years of being a pope. Is there anything that you would like the people to know about you before we part ways? Um, well, first, I would like the people to know that I am like a Southern Baptist traditionally, but I do have carry a lot of like Catholic values. Um, I like wine, um, I like gold a lot. Um, you know, there, there are several things about me that I like. I like really short church services. Um, I really love the Sistine Chapel. I think that the ceiling is beautiful. Um, gosh. The only thing I don't like is cherubs. I don't like cherubs. Like little naked babies everywhere. I kind of like that's one thing that I probably would like to, to change. But other than that, like I just want the people to know that I feel like I would make a really good Pope. Um, vote for me. I encourage your cardinal to vote for me um, because I'm a woman, I'm African-American, I add a lot of diversity to Catholicism, and, you know, I just think I would be a really fun pope. So, you know, basically, that's, that's really what I want the people to know.